the cricket sound. If I know where they were, I would get rid of them fast because I can't stand them. You know, that being in all the videos that I've here, made here recently. <sighs> Makes me sound like my um, videos are lame. <laughs> but in this video, we're going to talk about John Red's history. Um, where they started from. Uh, we're pretty much going to uh, do like a, a beginning, middle, and end. Where they ended up at. Which, you know, if you know anything about... John Dre's Chainsaw, or their company as a whole, they ended up with Husqvarna AB, which is a side business for Husqvarna. But, we're going to start from the beginning, which is 1832. That's where it was founded in John Dre, Sweden. It's actual city there in Sweden. They actually had a factory and everything there. Um, they were previously owned by A.B. Askin, which is a company of Electrolux, and if you know anything about Electrolux, and if you follow chainsaws, you know that that company bought out a bunch of um, names, like Poland and um, McCulloch. I know there's a few more. I'm just I don't I can't recall right off. Um, but. In 1832, a Scotsman named William Gibson went from Scotland to Sweden to start a textile business. You know anything about textiles? It's pretty much taking a cloth and making it stronger. I do know that uh, John Dredd made a um, selling canvas for sailboats, and they also made fire hoses uh, all the way up to 1975. Um, there are some still out there. Uh, just like any other antique, if you got it, take care of it, um, which is pretty cool because, you know, people, we need to know about history, we need to know where things came from, you know, who made them, and stuff like that. Um, in the 1950s is where John Red started, like, their, they pointed their business into the chainsaw industry, and... They had a chainsaw called the Racket, which in uh, English terms is called the Rocket. And it, it was called the XA Racket. Um, this thing was semi-diesel. You had to start this thing upside down. Um, it used an ignition heated um, propane. So this thing has to be started upside down with propane. I did find a video of this thing being started and ran. So I'm gonna let you guys see that. And to me, that this um, this particular chainsaw uh, is like a first because John Dredd took a semi-diesel uh, chainsaw and it turned into a gas-powered chainsaw. Um, but they did keep the semi-diesel one, and then they went to the Cosmos and then to other um, models. So, it went from semi-diesel to gasoline-powered. Um, I know in 1959, John Dredd uh, pretty much started focusing on the forestry industry. So, they made a uh, forestry crane. Um, and, you know, the chainsaw led to being out into the forestry industry, period. So in 1969, they shut down their textile business to focus on the forestry industry altogether. Um, I know they made um, they made more stuff, um, but you know, with a chainsaw channel, you know, focused on chainsaws, that's what we're gonna focus on. But you know, it's really cool to actually know what you know what the brand actually made and to where they are now. But um, I know in 1975, um, they became a subsidiary of Askin AB, or AB Askin, which is Electrolux. Uh, Electrolux bought a bunch of names back in the day, back in the 70s anyway, and in 1978 is whenever they were sold to Husqvarna AB. Uh, Husqvarna AB is just a side business for all the brands that uh, Husqvarna actually makes. And uh, just like um, like the brand from the past, they're taking 
John Dredd and our friend into the future, just like Husqvarna. Uh, they're making battery powered chainsaws, uh, weed eaters, push mowers, leaf blowers. Um, I know they probably have a, a battery powered hedge trimmer, uh, just like Husqvarna. But you know, for a company to start in 1832 all the way up to 1975, that is a very long time to run a business. Um, I do have a um, bunch of pictures that I'd like to share with you guys, and um, I think it's uh, it's actually really interesting to know where a brand started and where they ended. But um, I know that Husqvarna has picked them up and they took them into another direction, just like with their own brand, and. Uh, which is, you know, which is cool, you know, a lot of people like the battery powered stuff. Um, me, I use battery powered tools. Uh, I even have a, a leaf blower that I use constantly in this garage. Which, you know, it's really handy when you need it. <laughs> but do I like battery powered chainsaws? No. Do they have a lot of torque? Yes. Um, I particularly would not own a battery powered chainsaw um, for one reason the battery power goes fast I worked in a battery shop I know what the batteries do you know the more time you uh, discharge them and charge them they lose their battery uh, cycle over longevity so what I buy no oh, stick with gas powered <laughs> but um, that's all I have for this video until the next video, you guys have a wonderful day.